Welcome back YouTube, this is Bearded Ryan here and I've got a Easter egg how-to for you. Now, this fabulous game we have here is Tales of Vesperia for the Xbox 360. For those of you who have the Definitive Edition for, I believe, PS4, Xbox One, and possibly the Switch, this video does not apply to you. As we will be doing today is getting Yuri his true knight title and costume. Now to do this, you need to go to Arneon post game after you've completed all 23 secret achievements. Now those can be done by fighting every single boss in the game including the final boss and acquiring those achievements through a special uh, requirement for the boss. So uh, where we are right now is of course in the middle of the ocean. We're right by Zaude. And what you're wanna, gonna wanna do is um, travel south. I've got the map here, south of Zaude. Arnian is in the furthest continent to the south and it should be the little blue dot in the top hand corner now this town appears later in the game and you can visit any time post game so what we're gonna do is land Baul and we're gonna go into the town called the land of hope Arnian once we are in the town Flynn will give you the True Knight title and costume. You go to the right by the end, and Flynn will be standing on a patch of grass by some lumber. Now, to get the True Knight title and costume, you simply need to initiate a conversation with Flynn post-game after you've completed all 23 secret achievements. Again, this applies for the Xbox 360 version, as Definitive Edition users will have the True Knight costume already unlocked to the best of my knowledge. Now, they have more secret achievements that they can do and they're still fun and to the best of my knowledge, there's probably a reward for doing them anyway. So let's start talking to Flynn. So, Flynn just said Yoder plans on giving the title of Free Paladin to Yuri. This is a clue in that we've done everything right up to this point. Now, of course, Yuri is hesitant to receive any kind of acknowledgement from anybody not in Brave Vesperia for his good deeds that he's done in the game, which is kind of a funny joke uh, that Yuri seems to perpetuate the whole game. No, he appreciates the thought, but that's enough. Of course, he, he lets you know there's a title, and he doesn't want it, again. And Yuri leaves. Now, Estelle is one for doing the right thing regardless. Yuri. 
Yoder and Flynn want to acknowledge Yuri's deeds officially. And Estelle continues the conversation minus Yuri. Oh, here we go. Flynn is giving Estelle an official uniform from His Highness Yoder. He asks that Yuri wear it to the ordination ceremony. Please give this to Yuri as a symbol of Yoder's and my thanks for what he's done. And what if Yuri refuses to take it? Then shove it in his bags while he's not looking. It'll get all wrinkled like that. Then that's Yuri's problem. Hee <laughs> hee, yes. All right. I'll take it for you. Thank you, Flynn. And we should see Knight in the Heart, eh? Yuri earns the True Knight title. And to change into the True Knight costume, you go into your menu and you click on view, view character details, of course. Select Yuri. Of course, he has his tank top lever outfit on right now. But we will go to the True Knight costume. I'll remove the sunglasses. And this is Yuri's True Knight costume. It's pretty cool. I think it's worth the secret achievements. It's definitely very regal looking. Of course, Yuri's got the ponytail going on. And I have his second star katana equipped. He's uh, looking pretty spiffy. And to the best of my knowledge, this True Knight title will carry over to your new game plus. So there we go. That's how to get the True Knight costume. I hope it wasn't too um, whatever for you, but uh, yeah, I mean it. It's it's your reward for the secret achievements. So uh, that's how you uh, get the True Knight costume. And thanks for uh, watching this video again. Hope it helped. All right. Bye bye.